hi guys how you doing today we're gonna be making some um, fish balls too um, in Wolof it's called bullet fish and um, I'm gonna show you how to make it first what I did was fry some potatoes I do have my cabbage and the carrot on the side make sure that it's golden brown then you can take them out So once you take them out, um, now I do have here a fish, fish, and uh, I'm gonna blend them. I uh, have some tilapia fillet. This is my seasoning that I've made on the side. It has some garlic, it has pepper, it has um, basil, yeah, and cilantro, and black pepper. It's just the mixture. And add some jimbo and some um, bread that's what you see on the side you soak the bread in water and then remove the water put it in to make it soft and then add some black pepper and then blend it so once it's blending just give it a little bit of time make sure you have your bowl with the oil as you can see that's the bowl with the oil make sure you have it dip it in um, use your hands and dip the oil there and then um, make fish balls um, just like how you see it right now so we're making some fish ball stew today fish ball stew so that's how it's supposed to be looking and after you did do that time for us to come and um, deep fry them so I'm using a deep fryer first before I put it in the crack pot to make it much easier so that I won't have to be tossing and turning on one side to another I can use the deep fry as much better and then we can transfer to the crack pot so there it, there it goes, the fish ball. In Wolof, it's called bullet stew. I just have two fish on the side, which are seasoned. I just want to add it onto the stew as well. I use some lemon black, lemon seasoning, lemon pepper seasoning on the fish. So that red thing you see on the bowl is some onions with some um, tomato, diced tomato and onions blend together. That's what you're looking at in the, in the bowl. Yeah, so I'm going to be frying that now. So once it's fried, then I will be, it will be ready for me to add some um, tomato paste but before I do that I'm just gonna add a little bit of dry fish as you can see it's called yet in Wolof it's dry fish just a little bit to give it the flavor now it's time to add the tomato paste and add a little bit of black pepper to give it that kick, that spicy kick that you want. If you don't eat spices, you don't have to put it. Then you, I put my jimbo or you could put salt, it's just a seasoning to give it flavor. And let it cook for a little bit. As you can see, if it's looking like this, then you know that it's ready for you to add on um, your, 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 your extra stuff that you have on, um, into the crack pot. Now I'm going to add my cabbages. And once I add the cabbage, I'll add the carrot too and add the fish, everything is going back into the pot. Yeah, as you can see, it's, everything is in the pot now. 
Now I'll have to cover it up and make sure that the the, the, the cooktop or the stove or whatever you're using, make sure you lower the heat so that it can slow cook. As you can see, I didn't put no water in there. I just let it cook by itself. Okay. That's the fish balls too. Now we're gonna be uh, we're gonna check it out after a few uh, 15 minutes or so. As you can see, it's coming out great.